This is a short update on the Vital Syllabus Project. The Vital Syllabus Project aims to collect, curate, clarify, and where necessary, create resources that will help people of all ages to be better prepared for the turbulence that is increasingly all around us. This turbulence has five main aspects. First, our lives are no longer familiar, uniform, and easily predictable. Instead, we are experiencing increasingly diverse pressures. Second, many dizzying opportunities present themselves, or seem to present themselves, but they're often hard to understand and evaluate. Third, we can see many daunting risks all around us, though, again, they're often hard to understand and evaluate. Fourth, the changes we experience aren't just incremental, meaning more of the same, but are disruptive, meaning they're game changers, and the pace of disruption is accelerating with different disruptions combining in unpredictable ways. Fifth, as we seek clarity on how to respond to turbulence, diversity, opportunities, risks, and disruption, we find that traditional sources of moral guidance have been questioned as never before. So where can we find better guidance? And what are the skills and principles that will serve us best as we try to navigate to a significantly better future. That's what the Vital Syllabus seeks to clarify. The Vital Syllabus Project recommends significant changes in what people of all ages are encouraged to learn and understand. This call to reform education is hardly novel. Indeed, almost every discussion about the threats and opportunities faced by humanity at the present time tends to revolve to the need to improve education. What's different about the Vital Syllabus Project compared to other aspirations to improve education are the special insights of the course designers about the unprecedented transformational potential of emerging technologies, the particular complications of the interaction of changes in technology with changes in human expectations, human culture, human social structures, and human narratives, the threats and opportunities faced by humanity that truly deserve the most attention, and the profound relevance of the worldview known as transhumanism. If you feel that description applies to you too, please don't hesitate to become involved in this project. All resources gathered into the vital syllabus are expected to have the following attributes. First, they are vital. They address the skills and principles that will make the most difference between us having wonderful futures and us having deeply regrettable futures. Second, they are focused. They address the topic in the syllabus rather than being sidetracked into lots of different directions. Third, they are accessible they are available without any payment or other obstacle. Fourth, they are engaging. They inspire and keep the attention of viewers without becoming dull or overly academic. Fifth, they are clear. They are easy to understand by anyone with the intelligence and aptitude of an averagely smart 16-year-old. Sixth, they are trustworthy. They can be relied upon and have good reason to be trusted. 
Your feedback and suggestions will be very welcome regarding the material that has already been gathered onto the Vital Syllabus website. You can provide this feedback by any of several mechanisms that are explained on the Connect page of the Vital Syllabus website. For example, let us know if you find any material on the site which fails to meet some of these six criteria in your point of view. And even better, let us know what alternative material you would suggest as being well suited for inclusion. That brings us to a quick listing of the top level areas covered by the vital syllabus. There are 24 in total. We'll look at each one very briefly. If you think some of these areas shouldn't be included in the set of skills and principles that matter most, please let us know. Area one is learning how to learn how to pick up new skills quickly and reliably. Area two is communications. Effective communications with a variety of different kinds of audiences. Area three is agility. How to manage uncertainty. Area four is creativity. Going beyond existing methods and solutions. Area five is augmentation, using technology and tools to boost abilities. Area six is collaboration, becoming wiser and stronger together. Area seven is emotional health, nurturing emotional resilience, flexibility, and transcendence. Area 8 is longevity, the remarkable possibility of significantly extended lifespans. Area 9 is foresight, anticipating and managing the unexpected. Area 10 is leading change, inspiring and maintaining transformations. Area 11 is technologies in history, the present and the future. Area 12 is economics, the management and cultivation of scarce resources. Area 13 is governance, incentivizing and regulating the development of technologies and institutions. Area 14 is democracy, the worst form of governance apart from all the others. Area 15 is geopolitics, influencing political processes nationally and internationally. Area 16 is numeracy, arithmetic and analysis for the modern age. Area 17 is science, distinguishing good science from bad science. Area 18 is philosophy, thinking about thinking. Area 19 is transhumanism, a philosophy particularly relevant in the 2020s. Area 20 is culture, the basis for extended flourishing. Area 21 is the environment, the context in which consciousness evolves. Area 22 is landmines, identifying and addressing the biggest risks ahead. Area 23 is the singularity, options for the advent of artificial superintelligence. Area 24 is ultimate futures, beyond event horizons. 
Resources for all these areas can be found in the pages under vitalsyllabus.org. Please take a look. And please consider helping to improve this site so that it can assist more people more quickly and more fully as they anticipate and manage the enormous disruptions that lie ahead. Thank you very much.